In this video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Sony ZV-E10 to MacBook. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily set up and use your Sony ZV-E10 in conjunction with your MacBook. You will be able to get a live remote view using the camera and primarily use it as a webcam. So in order to establish this connection, all that you need is a USB cable. You don't need to download any sort of software. So as long as you have the proper USB cable and connect one end into the camera and another one into the MacBook, you will be good to go. However, before you do this, make sure that you set up some settings inside of the Sony ZV-E10. Go to the network category and go under PC remote function. I recommend enabling this. While this isn't strictly necessary, by turning this option on, you will ensure that the camera will get detected as a live streaming device. So if you are having trouble getting this connection to work, enable this and it should be detected properly. With this done, now we can use the main function, USB streaming. So switch over to the secondary category here and you will find USB streaming. Every single time that you want to connect the Sony ZV-E10 to a device, including a MacBook, you must choose USB streaming. When you choose this option, you will be prompted to gather your USB cable and connect one end into the camera and another one into the device. So all that you have to do now is establish a connection as I mentioned. It doesn't matter which, ca which cable you use. It can be USB-A, USB-C, micro USB. As long as the connection is established, you will be good to go. So you chose USB streaming, you establish this connection, and now when you go inside of any application that supports camera inputs, you will find the ZV-E10. You don't need to download any additional piece of software, it will be detected natively. So all that you have to do is open Google Meet, Zoom, OBS, whatever you use, and it will be available as a camera. And of course you can choose it in the microphone field as well. Now you can use it as a webcam, manage the storage, whatever you want to do. I hope I was able to help you on how to connect Sony ZV-E10 to MacBook. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.